This is We've Been Drinking MMA, and we are uh, here breaking down and predicting the UFC Fight Night Luis Almeida card. This fight is between Victor Hugo versus Daniel Marcos. Um, this is backhand, and my pick is Daniel Marcos. My pick is Daniel Marcos as well. well I have to say... Um, this is my is he's my tentative pick. You know why? He he's undefeated. He is minus two fifty in this fight, two hundred and fifty dollars to profit a hundred, Daniel Marcos is. However, um, you know, he's two and zero in the UFC. He had a TKO win two fights ago, but his last fight against Davy Grant, it was a split decision win. I thought that he lost. I thought it was close. But I just didn't like the way he performed. It felt like he either he's going through an injury, but he was very tentative and his punches, they he really, really wasn't throwing with much power at all in my opinion. Yeah. And to me, you know, he's going up against Victor Hugo in this current fight. And Victor Hugo is coming off a, a, a you know, a three or four, four, four fight, uh, you know, finish streak. Yeah. Two two KOs. Uh, well, one of them was an injury uh, against his opponent. And then two submissions. Uh, and, and his last fight was uh, a contender series of the minor leagues of UFC. But still, I mean, the guy is definitely um, got good, strong leg kicks. I think Marcos, uh, Daniel Marcos, two fights ago against uh, Salmon uh, Oliver. Vieira. I I see a lot of uh especially when they're striking. Mm-hmm. I I see a lot of um Oliveira, like the guy you were just talking yeah, about yeah, and yeah. Hugo when they're striking. Right. So I don't see any difference in this fight if they're going to strike the mm-hmm. same way. So I don't see any other outcome besides Marcos winning. No, for me, I want to I I want to wait and see. I want to live bet this one for me because uh, in Daniel Marcos, yes, he did fight a dangerous fighter, Davy Grant, who is just good at going forward, going backward, throwing these dangerous hooks. However, uh, Marcos just, in my opinion, just wasn't throwing with any heat. And, and and normally his body kicks two fights ago against Oliveira was amazing. Their body kicks were 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 yeah with intention. Flash. Yeah. It was like an instant. Uh, just 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 kicking with nice pop. Two way different fighters though. Yeah, and, and so against Davy Grant, I can see why, you know, sometimes you go up against a monster like Davy Grant. I mean, Davy Grant's not a monster, but he is kind of a monster. Like, he's definitely dangerous. And when you go up against a dangerous power puncher or, like, a wrestler grappler, sometimes you don't look as good, and I can understand that. However, I don't know what's going on in his head. What if he's what if he was injured in his last fight? That was in July, late July. What if he's still going through some problems and his uh, and, 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 and he might have a, a poor showing again? I, I don't want to bet uh, money on him until I see him, and I want to see him through throw with some real pop when i see that i am definitely gonna throw some money on uh daniel marcos because he's the better fighter better kicker you know better combinations pressure fighter doesn't he goes forward yes and he puts a lot of pressure uh when he is looking good two fights ago but against davy grant you know he couldn't really lead the dance too much there so he wasn't really he was more countering and things like that and being more hesitant um and so yeah i just want to see him you know look like he is not injured or like he's like he's fresh. I want to see him like fresh. Like he's ready to go. I want to see him ready to go, throwing those body kicks, you know, throwing with some pop, making some good connections. I'm going to have my volume way up on the TV, and I want to make sure that he's connecting good and he wants to throw with intention and throw with power, which is – which is why he's undefeated. When he does yeah. that, he not wins. Not tentative, ready to go. Exactly. And Victor Hugo, like we said, it, you know, he's a good fighter, but he's only had he had this is his first fight in the UFC. You know, he's he's got four losses on his record and you know, um it, we'll see how he performs. He's got a two and a half inch reach advantage, but I'm just thinking that ultimately he's got two takedowns a fight so he can maybe take it to the ground, but then But Mar- when his fight IQ when know? it is on the ground, his yeah. fight IQ is not the smartest when he's trying for submission. So if that happens, Marcos is going to capitalize on it. Marcos, yeah, you could tell Marcos is just the more polished fighter, and Victor Hugo is kind of just like taking what he can get. And be, but Marcos, Daniel Marcos, setting up nice body kicks, like like we said, and throwing good combinations and going forward and yeah. putting the pressure that and snap setting up on his leg kicks. That's in right. that Oliveira fight it was really nice. Yeah, so. yeah, he can throw I'm with some heat. Marcos I just want to see him throw with the heat. You yeah. know what I mean? So I look forward to seeing Daniel Marcos perform, and if he's performing well. You know, uh, and 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 he he wants to throw with intention. I'll throw a bet on him for sure. Yeah, I so, like it. Thanks for listening, guys. Like, subscribe, comment. Thanks, everybody.